Hey, what's going on everybody? So while I was away shooting music videos in Las Vegas, EVH dropped a bomb on us EVH fans. And I've got several guitars that I want to talk about. We got some new guitars to talk about. And uh, if you can't tell by the enthusiasm, 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 <laughs> by the enthusiasm in my voice, I'm pretty stoked. All right, do all the things I always ask, man. Like this video, subscribe, follow me on every streaming platform and social media platform that you can find. I'm out there. That being said, let's dive on in, all right? So we're on Sweetwater's page right now, and I did a little preemptive search before making this video, and I typed in EVH Relic. And as you can see, we have some familiar faces. We have the Frankenstrat, the quite literal Frankenstrat for two grand the replica, and then we also have some of the stripped down versions that were announced last year, but then whoopsie daisy, hello, we have some new friends. We have a blue burst, we have a sunburst, and we have a silver burst, everybody. Why do you think I'm making this video? Is it because of the blue burst? No, <laughs> it's because of the silver burst. Now, I think what's kind of fucking not cool is the fact that these are more expensive than the plain ones. I guess the paint costs like $50 more to make. Okay, that's fine. Let's just hop right on into it, man. We know why we're here. Let's just check out the silver burst. Dude, what do we think of this? Now, I'm pretty against like pre relics guitars generally speaking. But at the same time, I remember saying that last summer, I was very on board with creating Frankenstrats without them being really, my only complaint and critique was, I just wish they would just make a super strat without doing the half pick guard and the dummy pickup and the dummy pickup selector. Because is anybody really gonna use those? I don't know, <laughs> you know what I mean? like. I just wish this was a little bit cleaner and not like quite literally a Frankenstrat relic. I wish they would just do a non-recessed Floyd Rose Super Strat under the EVH umbrella. That's just me personally. Um, it's kind of like doing what Charvel does, but like I like non-recessed Floyds. They're better for tuning stability. They're not floating Floyds, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think I really like this guitar, and I like I said before, I really don't get behind relic guitars and all this stuff. But this is an exception to the rule. I think the Silver Burst looks amazing. Curious as to why they did Blue Burst and the Vintage Sunburst makes a lot of sense. Actually, I think that's a pretty sick color too. Um, like my first infatuation with a guitar was a three-tone Sunburst Stratocaster before I even started playing when I was like 10 or something like that, 10 or 11. Um, so the Blue Burst, I'm really not a fan of at all. I mean, if blue's your favorite color, sorry. Um, just not really my thing. But with that being said, I really dig the Vintage Sunburst, and we saw these last year, the red, the black, and the white. I think the white one looks absolutely amazing, but the Silver Burst, dude, come on now. That's awesome, dude. I'm a huge fan of this. Huge congrats to EVH. EVH is really, really hammering home the Silver Burst aesthetic. Now, we also have a new model of the Star Guitar. Now, the Star Guitar is one of my least, my literal least favorite versions of the EVH guitar. However, I don't know, man, maybe I'm a little biased and maybe people from EVH watch my videos. Probably not, but if they do, what's up everybody? I would love to work together in some capacity someday down the road. But they did something so sick, man. First off, we have new colors. We have satin black, um, which I don't know if that's a new color, but we got a satin black one, a cream satin vintage white, whatever they're calling it. And we also have silver burst as well. But the main thing that I love about this guitar is they put the hockey stick Kramer headstock on this because let's all let's let's be real, man. The, sh the star guitar with the I guess it's a Dan Electro neck that headstock just doesn't really do it for me. And I think a lot of people would agree. So putting the cool headstock on this makes so much sense and it makes this guitar look so much cooler, in my opinion. Not to mention we have a Tunematic stop tail bridge, which is cool, man, because most EVH guitars and all of Eddie's guitars, to the best of my knowledge, generally speaking, don't at me, all had a Floyd. You know, I'm just going to correct myself. Like we had the Les Paul Custom, we had some hardtail PVs, and I think maybe a hardtail EVH back in the day, etc. Uh, the Shark guitar. All right, you know what I'm saying. Generally speaking, when you think of EVH branded guitars or Eddie's guitars, they all had Floyds. 
But the fact that we get the star with the hardtail, that's super sick, man. And I'm not even really a fan of this shape per se. That is until we get the silver burst. I can't tell if I love it or like if it's too wild, but I really think I love it. Who am I kidding? I think I love this thing. Not even really sure how I feel about the silver burst on the actual headstock. Maybe just a uh, plain black headstock would have been better for me. I'm not really a fan of painted on headstocks or like matching the burst to the headstock. That's just never been my vibe and my aesthetic. That's just me. But with that all being said, this is super cool, man. I love, 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 love what EVH is doing here in 2024 here in the summer. And I think it's great, man. I think it's cool. I think it's cool how Eddie's legacy and the EVH brand is continuing to continue on. Keep it on, keep it on is what I'm trying to say. Um, and they're not just doing the same thing over and over. They're keeping it within the box of the Eddie brand, sure. But they're tweaking things and, and changing things ever so slightly. And in my opinion, tweaking them for the better. Huge fan of that. I love that so much. And now I know that Eddie Van Halen fans are very passionate. And does I really sell so, myself included? But I know there's a lot of negativity on when guitar players unfortunately pass away, continuing on the legacy. Um, it's kind of like kind of tricky sometimes. I understand that. And there's one YouTuber who's got a pretty big channel. Um, Six String TV is the name of the YouTube channel, and the gentleman made a video criticizing um, the EVH brand and, and was more or less saying that the EVH brand is milking um, Eddie and is like kind of doing doing a disservice or something like that. And personally, I disagree with that. Now, let me say this right now, just because I disagree with that does not mean that I'm correct or anything like that. This is a friendly conversation, nothing but respect and love to anybody who has an opinion. I have many opinions and I put them out on the internet almost on a daily basis. So it's all good, nothing but love. Um, this is a just a conversation piece. Um, but I personally don't feel like this is milking or like uh, rude or disrespectful or anything like that. I think it's cool as dude. And I actually like how the EVH brand is continuing to rebrand itself because, you know, how else are you supposed to keep a company afloat when unfortunately your act, your artist, your main guy passes away? What are you supposed to do? It's an unfortunate situation. It's terrible. Um, you know, coming from a massive Eddie Van Halen fan, that's literally my favorite guitar player of all time. I think this is so cool, dude. But again, just because I think it's cool doesn't mean it's right. Um, if people disagree, that's totally fine as well. I haven't even checked out the specs. I'm, assu I'm assuming it's like Wolfgang pickups and you know, all that kind of stuff. EVH Wolfgang humbucker pickup bridge position loaded with Elneco 2 magnets. Yeah. I'm relatively knowledgeable and well-versed in the EVH brand. So that wasn't a surprise to me and it wasn't a shock. That's why I didn't even really care to look at the specs. Anyway, dude, to wrap up my points here. I don't think this is milking the legacy. I don't think this is a disservice. I think it's cool. I think it's honoring the legacy. And it's also cool too, that if you're not a massive Eddie fan and you still want a cool guitar, you don't have to be literally married to the EVH aesthetic with like stripes or like Wolfgangs or, you know, anything like that. You can get a guitar that looks similar, but it's new and it's fresh and it's not married to the man himself while at the same time paying respect to where it came from. All that encompassing, I'm a huge fan of these and I think it's really, really cool. But now I wanna to turn to you guys. What do you guys think of these guitars? What do you guys think of my opinions? I love you guys so much, whether you agree or disagree, it's irrelevant. I just wanna have a nice friendly conversation as best as we can on the internet, which is very hard to find anymore nowadays, but I would love to hear from you guys. And yeah, just let me know what you think down below in the comments. All right, everybody, it's gonna do it for this video, man. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to do all the things that I ask to help support. Follow me on your favorite streaming service, like this video, subscribe. I love you guys so much. You guys are awesome. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.